Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I know that I was just here with some um, new patterns from Butterick, but it looks like Simplicity has their spring patterns out as well. So I am going to review those with you guys today. Um, we're gonna skip through all the kids and babies and men and get to the women's patterns. And the first one we have here looks like casual sportswear, they're calling it. Um, like a lifestyle or a wardrobe pattern where you have top, pants, dress, jacket maybe, something. All in one pattern to help you make up uh, like a little capsule wardrobe. So it looks like this one has pants, a top, uh, two tops, and a dress. And I'm not <laughs> totally loving any of them, if I'm being honest. The line drawing looks better. Maybe this is bad fabric choice. What fabric is that? It's just not super flattering on her to be fitted and then have, I mean, literally your pleats open up at the widest part of your body. That is like the least flattering thing I've ever heard of. Uh, okay. I mean, certainly you could open them higher and that would help a little bit, but there's no waistband. Um, it's got a button front. Uh, the top is pretty basic. Long sleeve, same, and this is just a basically, yeah, a t-shirt dress with a belt tied around. So, I don't know. It's also strange to me whenever they use the same model and, like, overlay her on herself. It looks like triplets. Maybe it is triplets. Yeah, just pretty basic. And this is just, I don't even know what's happening. Maybe if you have, like, no hips... That would be flattering because it would like give you the illusion of hips. But for those of us that have hips, no thanks. Um, 6 to 14 in one size and then 14 to 22 in the other. All right, what's next? We've got a little top. Um, okay, this is cute. Cute, if not kind of maybe already been done, but okay, we're gonna keep an open mind. So this is like another one of those wardrobe patterns where you've got a dress, jacket, and pants, and shorts, and top. Okay, here are the line drawings. This is, again, what is happening with the shorts. I mean, on her they look okay because she has, like, no thighs. Oh, but look at this. No wonder I like that dress so much. Double vertical fisheye darts, side seam pockets. I mean, I can even get behind the dolman sleeves. For this shaping, oh, yes. Let's look at the dress. Super cute. The fabric is a little, little on the stiff side, in my opinion, for the, for the dolman. You could go a little bit drapier, a little bit softer, but it's cute. Here's the, okay, so this is the dress unbuttoned, worn like a jacket. That's kind of fun. Um, the pants are cute. I do like this little detail on the pants. Um... I don't love a scoopy, this scoopy pocket doesn't do well for anyone with hips. Slash pockets are better. Well, they're kind of in the middle of slashy and scoopy. So it would just depend on how curvy you are and how good of a fit you can get on them. They look curvier on her than they do in the line drawing. So I'm going to, I'm going to say the sample is more accurate. But even the top is super cute. The top rim, oh, look at her fishtail braid. I love that. 
Um, uh, what was I going to say? The top reminds me of, is it the McCall's one? McCall's or Simplicity, where it had all those pleats right here, you know? This is a little bit drapier, maybe like a linen rayon blend or something. And so I'm getting more intentional um, bubbles and wrinkles and puckering and all of that than the pink version. But still, I could never wear those shorts. But if you can, more power to you. The dress is really cute. A little plain up here, but really cute. Sizes are 10 to 18 and then 20 to 28. So that does go into the larger size range there. All right, we've got a Mimi G getting all sexy up in here. <laughs> okay, we've got a jacket and dress. The jacket's cool. It's like a shortened trench, right? That's, that's kind of fun. One button, drawstring waist. It's got the little, like, uh, what are those called? Gun flaps. Uh, and the shoulder, oh, applet. Is that the right word? I can't remember. Um, so very traditional, you know, trench styling, but it's just short. That's fun. The dress, though, well, God, I don't know. It looks good on her. It's, I would think it would be a little slinky dinky and like maybe more suited for bedtime. Um, but I don't know. She lives in Miami. You know, if you're going on a vacation somewhere, I could see you wearing that out and not looking like you were in a nightgown. The back is really great. This scoop and how it fits, that's spectacular. Yeah, it's like uh, gathered or something. Oh, it also has adjustable straps. That's That's thoughtful. I got to say, I'm digging this. I'm digging this whole look. Um, what is, let's see what the, so cotton types. So the jacket would be Dupioni, lightweight denim, sateen, chantong, taffeta, and twill. Oh, I mean, lightweight versions of all of those for sure. Um, B in chalet, crepe. And silky types. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of fun. Good job, Mimi. Oh, the sizes. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, it's 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right. Our next Mimi G new pattern release for spring are these pants. And this top. All right, who's getting Cali shirt dress from the top? Right? Cute on her. Cute on her. And then the pants are very interesting. So you've got pocket flaps with a button, button fly, and side cargo pockets also with a button. Maybe it's the fact that the buttons are a contrast color. But look how she gets this fit. Okay, curvy girls who've ever made Mimi G's pants patterns. Are they drafted for a curvy girl or is she making significant alterations to get them to fit her butt and waist? Because this that's happening that you can barely see underneath her top is me. You know how it's super small here and then very wide here. So is she making adjustments or is this how her pants are drafted? Well, let me know what you know in the comments. The top is cute, but if any of you have ever sewn indie patterns before, we've seen this. Yep. Here's the line drawings. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that the pants could be cool with different buttons. The pants could definitely be cool. All right, sizing is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right. 
Oh, the pattern hacking patterns. Okay, these are always fun. Um, depending, I'll say with a caveat, depending on what the hacks are. It is not a hack to shorten something. Okay, so number one is to shorten it. <laughs> but they also have hacks for flutter sleeves and lapels and a higher neckline with a cap sleeve. So, okay, those are decent enough differences, I guess. Here are, here they are. In general, the basic pattern is kind of cool. I like this center panel then with the gathers. That to me seems flattering. Uh, she certainly looks comfortable. And they did get a good fit. They're not going to show us the back though. Jerks. Uh, what does the back look like? We have the princess seams. Okay, so I mean, it's a little on the basic side. I wish they showed even illustrations though of these other guys, but it's kind of cool and I bet you'd learn a lot from like redrafting all these slave options. The neckline is like, obviously you just omit that, <laughs> you know, but um, extra, extra small through extra, extra large, just the one size. All right, here's their other pattern hack. It is, so you add a drawstring, you shorten it, and then you, Oh, there's a cold shoulder option, so you cut open the seam. Okay. Not too impressed with those options. Oh, there you go. I also don't really, like, just love a kimono. That's just really not my thing. Cute here, though. Right? And this is wrong of me to feel offended that they put the Asian girl on the kimono. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, fabrics are batik, burnout, chalet, cotton lawn, double georgette, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We got it. All right. Here is something called the pocket skirt. Oh. Okay, well, she looks very young. It's, oh, is it cool? Is it not cool? I can't tell. Let's look at more pictures. It's kind of cool. I don't like that top, though. That is very distracting. I want to see the waistband. I mean, if you're selling me a skirt, show me the freaking skirt. Like, just tuck a t-shirt in, you know? Okay, well, there's the, a portion of the back of the waistband. Thanks. I also think this fabric is too stiff. It'd be cooler if it was like way drapier and these little pocket openings just kind of fell closer to the body. Let's see what these line drawings are like. And I know you're also thinking this is going to add width to your hip so it won't be flattering, but I actually think... It's the opposite. If you can show your waist, which she's not doing, so that's not a great illustration, but if you can show your waist and your waist is like a narrow part of your body, maybe not for apple-shaped people, but for pears or um, hourglass uh, or even uh, like boy, boy shape, the straight up and down one, um, it can distract from the hip but so even if you weren't into these like buckety pockets which I think are quite cool um, you have these ones too 
I don't know. I think that's, I think it's cool. I think it's fun and hip and different, but I just would never style it this way, like ever. And maybe too long. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Now I'm second guessing myself. All right. Sizes are six to 14 and then 14 to 22. All right, now we've got skirt and pants. Okay. Yep. Basic, which is fine. Basic's fine. Chalet, crepe, double Georgette, lightweight denim. Okay, we get it. And then there's... A waistband, not a waistband, waistband, not a waistband, and then different lengths. One dart, but it is rather long in the back. Um, see, you sell me a skirt, you tuck in a top. Is that so hard? <laughs> I don't know. It feels very like A-line-y and that, uh, that's tough for me. I still would have to do a full seat adjustment on an A-line. I do dig the pants, though. The pants are cool. The pants are really cool. I love how wide they are. Yep, same fabric for both. Sizing is standard. All right, now we've got... Is this like a retro-y pattern? Look at that hair. Wow. All right, well, we'll flip through quickly. Look at that shaping. This one's cute. Okay. Oh. Okay, got it. Sizing starts at 10. 10 to 18, and then 20 to 28. All right, we've got a top pattern. This looks a little interesting. Got several options. This is different. Scallop sleeves, so if you've never sewn scallops before, this would be a good way to try it. And then also, like this whole piece is one, so it's technically a dolman sleeve with a princess seam. This is kind of cool. I'm liking this. They only made the one version. Square neckline too, you don't see that very often. Super cute with the styling of the jeans and the white sneakers. Although, what is that? But look at all these options. So you've got a tie, like a, almost like a trim or cording, and then maybe even like a pleat here. Something's going on here. And then you've got this little inset of trim and maybe lace. And then the little openings, the little slits have been moved to the side. Here's the version we've been looking at, the blue version. You've got one without sleeves. You've got one without sleeves and this cute little asymmetrical ruffle. Then you've got one with these huge ruffle sleeves sewn in. I mean, that's completely different than all these other ones. Cool. And then all the backs have these two little button. This is fun to me. I like this. And I mean, the, the princess seams in the back are basically the long fisheye darts. So you have shaping. Um, so you can get it to fit you. Here are the other versions um, in illustration form. I think this is super cute. Very wearable, very practical, very versatile. Love it. The sizing goes from six to 24. And well, I'm sure you have all your standard, let's see. Batik, chambray, cotton, gingham, linen, sateen, shirting, silky types. Yeah, all the, the basics for a top. 
cute. Uh, we're going to skip Gertie. Ooh, look at this. Zoom. And, okay. So, um, the peasant style is a trend. It's back. Um, the 70s are kind of back. This, to me, is kind of late 70s, but still cute. A little short, uh, so young, but cute, right? Do we like this? I think that's adorable. I would totally wear that. And I need more tops. Um, here are the other line drawings. So you have one with the bishop sleeve. You have one with this, a ruffle sleeve, no sleeve, and then this little super peasanty sleeve. And then you also have a fitted bodice and a flared bodice. So I would probably go for the flared bodice simply because I like to eat. <laughs> um, and then this is what the backs look like. Cute. I like that one too. Good job. Same fabric applications as um, the previous top. Your sizing goes from 6 to 22. I love that. All right. The origami dress. This is the same sort of... Uh, what, uh, what am I trying to say? It's the same thing as the pocket dress, the same like segment of simplicity patterns. Why can't I think of that word? But what does the origami dress mean? I don't know. That you can tie it or untie it? Okay, well let's look at some pictures. Maybe it'll explain it better. So it looks like a dress with a coat over top, dress with a little coat over top. And then this is just the dress. I'm confused. Do you guys get it? It's cute. I just don't understand. I don't understand. What's the difference between this and this? Anybody out there seeing something I'm not seeing? Why isn't there like an explanation on here for what's happening? What is the difference between A and B? I mean, on here, B is contrast for the dress part. I don't get it. You guys get it? It doesn't even explain... I don't get it. What's the origami dress mean? If you know, leave it in the comments. Help us all understand what's happening here. It's cute. And I feel like I would wear it and make it. And just missing the point. Like, why isn't this just like a regular pattern? Why is it? the What's origami about it? Can you take this little top thing off? Is it a separate coat and dress? Are these all one? What is going on? One size uh, pattern, extra, extra small to extra, extra large. Details, simplicity sewing pattern, Mrs. Dress, like literally no details. <laughs> hmm. Here's the envelope back. We already looked at that. And front back views, we already looked at those. So I don't know. Okay. Now we've got dresses and tops. Okay. These are kind of cool. Definitely getting a bit of a vintagey vibe. Oh, here's that damn top with the pocket skirt. I like this little thingy. That's cute. Uh, here she is. It does seem super simple to sew. Dolman sleeve. 
basic neckline other than this little detail, pockets, and a big wide hem. What's the back look like? Oh, the back kind of gathers. Wait, what? This is the origami dress line drawing. And why is that there? Oh, man. Okay, let's figure out what's happening here. Weird. Did they make a mistake? 8878, 8878, 8878, 8878. You guys, help me. What am I missing? The sizes are even different. What happened? Maybe it's called the simple shift and it's that same um, type of pattern as the origami dress. So are they telling me that this can be converted into this? Uh, no way. Okay, well I have to skip these because either something's wrong or Something's wrong with me or something's wrong with simplicity. So it, it has to be a mistake. Something's going on there. So we'll come back to that in a few days when they get it figured out. Okay, now we've got a very large caftan, a reproduction of this 9608 from maybe the 60s. Oh, yeah, look, it's a square with armholes or a rectangle with armholes. So, I don't know. Are caftans your thing? Do you like caftans? Sure does look comfy. Okay. Here are the line drawings. I mean, I'm sure it has its place in a wardrobe. I'm just not sure where in mine. I wish it said from which year it was inspired. That would be fun. But, I mean, I know that people wear these out in public and they look super chic. Uh, I just don't know if I would look super chic. One size fits all. Then we've got a vintage I'm going to skip over. Uh, what is this? Okay. Interesting little dress pattern. Again, I don't know how flattering it would be on me. But let's see what we think of it. So empire waist with the little bust gathers, button front, and then this little curtain, <laughs> this little gathered um, panel, I guess. You also have this version with the ruffle that becomes your sleeve. This one also does not have the button front, but has these really beautiful darts. And then you have just a shortened version without that little panel-y thing. All right. Here's our model. I mean, it looks good on her. I just, I can, I'm just imagining it coming in here on the waist and then wide on the hips and then wide on the bubble, on the hem, on this panel thing. You know, I don't know how flattering that would be. This literally tells me nothing about the dress. It's a beautiful picture of her though, but Shows me nothing about this dress. All right, here are the line drawings. You know, see how this is just so sort of straight? Yeah, I don't know if it's for me, but it is really cute. And I love the like nod to the 40s it's giving me. 30s, 40s. Um, This one is Sizes 10 to 28. I'm loving her version. Look at how cool her hair is. Fun. Okay, so it is basic bodice, center front seam skirt. Is this a knit dress pattern? Um, you have sleeves, sleeveless, scoop neck, high neck, and then this little tie sleeve. 
Uh, very flattering. Uh, is this knits? That's what I wanted to find out. Yes. Size for stretch knits only. So comfy and cute. Right? It actually looks way better on her. I think the curve, her curves, I don't know. It just looks cuter. Love it. I love this little sleeve detail too. Fun. Fun, fun. It is a little basic. I mean, there's not much to it. Interesting that there are bust starts in a knit pattern though. I don't see that very often. Um, but yeah, you could make this in a thousand different versions because, you know, knit prints and solids and all of that are so varying. Um, it would look like a different dress every time. And I have them with this little um, waist seam and the center front seam and really cute, really comfortable. I want to get the sizing already. Yeah, 10 to 28. Okay, skipping Gertie. All right, now we've got this pullover dress. This looks cute. Again, a little bit uh, for the prairie trend, but I like it. So it looks like waist seam with darts, notched neckline with either like a lace detail or a inset with a tie or trim with a tie. And then you've got these bishop sleeves, which I love. You've got this little, I don't know, cap sleeve thing, regular short sleeves, sleeveless. And then you've got a, this panel on a knee length version, the panel on a maxi version. Then you've got this like non-gathered panel. I mean, there's so many options. So, so many options. I love that. They've just got the one picture of her though. Cute. I mean, look at all this guys. Let's just look at the fun, fun, fun. Oh, look at the scallop on this one. That's cute. And obviously you could put this here, um, swap all this stuff, interchange, interchange all of this. That's cool. I like that. Chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, double georgette, lightweight linen types. Yeah, I mean, I'd also add um, crepe to this. Cool. Sizing is 4 to 20. 4 to 20. Okay. Wrap tie dress. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So we've got a square neckline, bust starts, different sleeve lengths, and then this contrast like patchwork something. I don't know, I don't really like it. Yeah, it's just maybe, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like about it, but it, it feels weird to me. Woven, and then you go out and you find this contrast band thing. But even if you don't, let's say you made it out of all white fabric or all the same fabric, even still, it's just not maybe special. I don't know. It is a very large tie though and they're sewn into the side seams. I don't know. It feels a little strange and fussy. 4 to 20 on that. Okay, now we've got a gown which I'm not going to spend too much time on because who really wears gowns? I mean, it is pretty though. Look at this little drapey action. And I'm sure there's boning holding this up. Uh, look at this version. Look at B, where it like 
drapes down and then there's a sleeve attached. Fascinating. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Huh. How fun. How fun. Those are really cool. I wish we could have seen more of them made up. Look, it's one of the triplets. <laughs> Pretty. They did a good job. Pretty, very pretty. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, so, these are more like prom tops and skirts, crop tops. Do I need to look through the crop tops with everybody? Wow. Please don't wear that to prom. His suit's super cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just the tops, not the skirts. Interesting. All right, well, maybe sew a skirt onto the bottom of these. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I know it's young and cool and hip to show your midriff at fancy occasions like this girl, but meh. Oh, wow. I can see why little girls would want that, though. All right. Well, that is going to do it for spring. Simplicity spring. Um, there are definitely a few that I will be grabbing, like 8872. Um, but let me know what you thought. Um, were there any that really stood out? to you. What will, will you be adding to your stash? Which ones did you love or hate? Um, and honestly, those questions that I asked, like what an origami dress is, if you have the answers, please let me know in the comments. But until next time, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!